Alright, I'm picking this up. Um, out of part one was part two of WWE 2K19 My Career. Um, right now we're going into the tryout match. Okay, so we're about to be locked in a steel cage for our tryout match in WWE. First match, let's see how this goes. Alright. Okay, so uh, Braun Strowman already has his signature. Oh, and he has his finisher now. Sweet. actually lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought he would already like have like thrown me through a cage or something or like killed me. So like the thing for the match doesn't even say a uh, win by pinfall or anything. Wow. It just says show triple H something. Something about show trip late so you're serious. Here is your winner, Ron <sighs> So obviously he was supposed to win that, like, you know, I'm not just gonna go into WWE on my first match against Braun Strowman. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. All right, so I'm already getting an NXT you did contract. It. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry. What what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Oh, he seems Come like he's, like, really, like... 
He seems like he's like low key mad about it. Like the Baron Blade dude. Like he seems like he's like mad about him getting an NXT contract. So he was just Hey that That's Baron Blade Definitely That's 100% Baron Blade In that mask No doubt Yeah yeah Without a doubt That's Baron Blade It just makes sense Doing it. it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Look, the fan attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do? Just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you fighting with a member of the WWE Universe, and that's not good. Well, that's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave the building, or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. This is on you, too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Wow. I got pretty fucked up how they did that. Ah! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. Now, come on. Grab your stuff. We gotta go. Oh. Alright, so you do one indie match, they throw you in WWE, you do one match there, you get fired. Let's see where it goes from here. A few days later. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. Oh, it was too early. Still for living in a van. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again. No, better. What could be better than that? 
Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been at NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Yep. Now, the dudes that are attacked oh, is definitely Baron, Baron Blade. It's too early for this. You can you can definitely tell by how he acts. If it's not him, I'm very surprised. So, um, so I'm back. Alright, so, um, it seems like we're gonna be in, like, the indie scene for, um, probably for a little bit, I think. I hope so. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Oh. Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But, since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right. All right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? <laughs> That's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you oh. two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> Alright, so... Gonna be in... Oh. Gonna be in a main event match. I'm down. That's exactly why you two should face each other. 
The fans are dying to see what happens next. In fact, yeah, it was only temporary. And remember, it's falls count anywhere tonight. So feel free to take the fight wherever you need to. Just as long as you don't damage the principal's car. She'll never let me do this out here again. Deal? There he is, the man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we can do is have each other's respect, right? So, are we good? <laughs> yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. What? Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> you know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? You better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, I, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? It was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. Wow, that dude's a bitch. The audience will be showing up soon. Alright, let's do this match. This is like the third... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's like the third match. Yeah, because we did one in the indie scene, one on Raw. Anywhere. 
in the general parking lot area as we didn't pay to have the street club. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control movement. See you.